listeners. Dear listeners, it seems yesterday that we exchanged New Year greetings, and now is the time for the last program of 2018 or 2019. Let us look back upon this year when the friendship with Voice of Korea was deepened all the more. A year of deepened friendship with listeners. The people live, forming and deepening friendship with each other, such as love between parents and their children, fellowship between schoolmates, and comradeship between those who work together. Voice of Korea has deepened friendship with its listeners in different countries for tens of years. The friendship between Voice of Korea and its listeners, formed on the road of justice and truth, was deepened this year too. Many congratulatory letters came to Voice of Korea on the first morning of the new year. At that time, I received the first letter of the year from Jordan Haven of Britain. The letter said, First of all, I extend my heartfelt greetings to the respected leader Kim Jong-un, and I wish him and everyone in the DPRK well. Letters also came from Richard Nork and Jack Smith of the United States, Richard Chen of Trinidad and Tobago, Han Nukeski of Finland, and listeners of many other countries. In the letters, we could read the unanimous wish of the listeners for good health of the respected Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un and for success of the Korean people in their work and life. The listeners wrote in the letters their resolve to actively listen to Voice of Korea in the new year, regarding it as an intimate companion. Right. It shows that the friendship between Voice of Korea and its listeners was deepened from the beginning of the year. Of course. Afterwards, the listeners further deepened friendship with Voice of Korea while listening to it regularly. Here is a letter sent by Costa Constantinides of Cyprus. I've been listening to various radio stations since 1974, and Radio Pyongyang has been heard and verified by me in South Africa and Cyprus. I'm aged 63. Many other listeners have been listening to Voice of Korea for a long period. Reida Bor of Norway has regarded Voice of Korea as his intimate companion for more than 50 years. This year, he sent us a letter saying. I often listen to your English language broadcasts on the shortwave bands. I first heard your station a long time ago. In fact, I think it was around 1966. Today, I also had the opportunity to listen to the Korean Central Broadcasting Station on a medium wave frequency of 819 kilohertz. It is not easy to listen to a broadcasting station for a long period. What made them tune in our broadcasting without letter for tens of years from when our station was called Radio Pyongyang? We find the answer to it from the letters of listeners. Robin Svensson of Sweden, in his letter, wrote, "I also want to take this chance to say that North Korea is a very beautiful country, and you are the role model for the socialism for all countries. The workers of the world stand with you in your struggle against imperialism." Natnan Yur of Britain wrote that he wanted to learn more about the beautiful Korean language and the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. I think the curiosity about Korea in the East, fascination with her reality, and sympathy with the aspiration of the Korean people made them keep listening to Voice of Korea. So do I. We value those listeners who have been listening to our broadcasts invariably for scores of years. Thank you. Regular listeners to our broadcasts include Peter Ng of Malaysia, Hanna Keski of Finland, Yakub Brunis of Poland, and David Ansel of Britain. They sent many reception reports and letters with their impressions on our programs this year, helping Voice of Korea enjoy love of its listeners. Abid Hussein Sajid of Pakistan, in his letter, wrote that he listens to Voice of Korea once a day, and. Nikotarios Manosos of Greece, Dan Dunker and Brian Penny of the United States, Rolf Johansson of Sweden, and other listeners sent us what they wanted to know about Korea and asked for music enriching our programs. Quite right. This year saw many new listeners to our pleasure. Let me introduce them again. More than ten new listeners started listening to Voice of Korea, including Natnan Yur of Britain. 
Malik Allahu Pachaya Kokhar of Pakistan, Thomas Bielioskas of Lithuania, and Brian Penny of the United States. In their letters, they unanimously wrote that they wanted to know a lot about Korea and promised to listen to Voice of Korea regularly. Juche 108 or 2019 is an unforgettable year when the friendship between Voice of Korea and its listeners was further deepened on the basis of the latter's trust in the former, raising Voice of Justice as a mouthpiece of truth and guide of the times. Dear listeners, we conclude today's program believing that you will value the friendship with Voice of Korea, which was formed on the road of justice and truth and continued for tens of years and actively listened to our broadcast in 2109 or 2022. Thanks for your attention.